So in this chapter, I'm going to show you what I called uh, the Frankenstein metarig workflow. And this is using the predefined metarigs and then trying to edit them in some way to get more complex behavior. And that is without understanding how Rigify works. So here we have this uh, horse with six legs and even two tails on the back. This will be an example where the this Frankenstein workflow kind of works and then I'll show you another one where uh, things start to break down. So to save some time I'm not going to check my model, I, I already checked and it looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and press Shift A and from the armature animals I'm going to choose the, the horse meta rig. There we have the, the meta rig. I'm going to turn on in front as always. Let's go to side view switch to edit mode, make sure that we have x-axis mirror activated and uh, I'm going to start aligning the bones from the side view. This here is a breast bone, I'm going to move it a little bit inside. This, These bones are chest bones, they are just uh, support bones, so move them inside the, the body. Align the uh, the chain of the spine to be in the middle of the body of the the horse, and here I disconnected the tail from the from the spine. So I'm going to connect it again by selecting this last nodule, uh, setting my cursor over there, and then uh, selecting the nodule of the tail and pressing Shift S selection to cursor. Okay, this is a shoulder bone, so let's align it with the shoulder. These bones here are hair bones. In this simple example, I won't need them and it's safe to delete them. But if you're Frankensteining your own rig, uh, there's always a little bit of a doubt whether it's okay to delete something or not. So in this case, I'll let, uh, I can let you know that yes, it's okay to delete these bones. Do not delete these uh, bigger ones though, that the, they are the ears, if you pay attention to the names. So we don't know, want to delete them. I'm going to move them into place. Here is something weird about uh, the horse rig. There is a bug in it. If, you, if I switch to pose mode and select this ear, this left ear moves with it some of the eye bones. This, in my opinion, is a bug. It's easy to fix. Just go to edit mode and uh, select all of these bones, these small bones, and then shift select the, the big head bone and press Ctrl P, keep offset, and now everything should behave uh, properly. Oh, actually, this uh, mouth, this jaw bone also needs to be connected. Now let's uh, start aligning the neck. Uh, make sure not to disconnect uh, the, the spine and the, and the neck. Select all of these bones, move them where the where the head is. I'm not going to be super precise. I'm going to align the, the legs in front view as well. Everything looks good except that we have one pair of legs which uh, do not have uh, an armature and also we have one tail when but we really need two. The way we're going to fix this is to select this bone, uh, the, the shoulder bone, and also the whole leg bone. And in side view, I'm going to just copy them over to the side and I'm going to align uh, this new shoulder bone a little bit and that should be okay. For the tail, let's move it to the side. Let's align it with the left part of the, of the tail. And then I'm going to select the whole chain and pro press Ctrl F2 or you can go to edit batch rename. I'm going to uh, switch the data type to bones, set name, suffix is good and I'm going to uh, add dot l and that will add dot l to each and every bone of, of this chain. I can check that. It's weird that this tail is called spine but anyway it's uh, spine.l and then uh, 03.l and so on and so forth. So I'm going to select the whole chain with l and go to armature, symmetrize, and that will give me two, two tails. So now if I go to object mode and the rigify buttons, I can press generate and surprisingly or unsurprisingly, it worked. 
I'll hide the meta rig. I'm going to select the horse mesh, then the a newly generated rig. I'm going to press Ctrl P with automatic weights. And then if I go to pose mode, woohoo, it works. The tail moves, the other tail moves. This pair of legs is controllable, this one as well, this one as well. Amazing. We can have very weird creatures. But okay, uh, so my goal with this course is to make to take out the guesswork of, of this process. Uh, so let's let's move forward, and then uh, I'll show you an example where this this kind of workflow that won't work. It will create problems that you you simply cannot solve. And uh, then we'll move to the next chapter in which we will start to explain the proper workflow. I'm going to hide the horse. Uh, layer and I'm going to unhide this one which is uh, men with tail and this is our base mesh that we rigged two times already but this time he has a cat ears and a tail so what do we do select this layer to be active then move the 3d cursor to, to the center by pressing shift c and then I'm going to press armature and uh, since this guy is very basic still uh, I guess we can uh, use the basic human as a base as always let's uh, activate in front and uh, now i need a tail and some ears let's see what we have we have animals cat uh, horse shark wolf uh, i guess the wolf and the, sh and the cat could work uh, i'm going to go with the cat i'm going to go into edit mode for the cat and uh, I see that I have a tail so that should work so I'm going to hide that and also the cat has ears so I'm going to hi hide that as well and everything else I'm going to just select and delete and then I'm going to uh, unhide uh, the, uh, the hidden bones with Alt H and uh, while I have them selected I'm going to press M to move them to, to the first layer Back in object mode, I'm going to shift select the human meta rig, and that way, when I press Ctrl J, I'm going to combine the two. Now, uh, the, the tail and the ears disappear, that's because this layer is uh, currently hidden, the first layer, so I'm going to unhide it, and there we have it. Now, very quickly, I'm going to align the human part of the meta rig. I'm really going to be, you know, not very precise here because it, it won't work and uh, I, I want to finally get to sharing with you the proper workflow. So now we want to have a tail, so I'm going to align it. And then maybe from the top view as well. And now I know that uh, the bones of the spine and the tail need to be aligned and currently they're not. One thing I guess I could do is grab this nodule and uh, another way to align them perfectly is to switch to vertex snapping. Hmm, <laughs> that doesn't quite work. Yeah, now it works uh, if I go to local view. So now the tail is uh, snapped to the spine. If I go back, uh, then maybe, let's turn off snapping, then maybe I can line the rest of the of the of this tail to my actual tail. And uh, I lost one bone, so that's not good, but at least I have the bone chains connected. And now let's do the same with, with the ears. Oh, and I need to parent things as well. Um, because I got these uh, parts from other from another rig, they are not parented to anything. I have to find the base uh, bone of of the uh, of the ear, which seems to be this one, because it moves everything in in pose mode. So back to edit mode. I'm going to select this bone and the the head, and I'm going to press Control P keep offset and uh, the tail needs to be parented to the to the spine 
So control P keep offset. And let's go to object mode and try to generate. And wow, it worked. Almost. Let's hide the metric. I can see that my, my tail seems to work, but the ears are gone. There's nothing here. And that's unfortunate. The reason there is nothing here is because the ears uh, cannot function by themselves. Uh, they are part of the face structure. And so when you disconnect them, Rigify just ignores them. One way to solve this is to get rid of the ears. I'm back with editing the meta rig now. And uh, let's grab this breastbone. And I'm going to align it with the, with the ears. And again, I'm going to parent the, these new ears to, to the head. And now if I generate the rig, you see that I have some sort of controller control over there. So I'm going to select the mesh, and then the uh, newly generated rig. I'm going to parent it with automatic weights. And uh, now if I go into pose mode, uh, I can move my ears. The tail works, more or less. And so when I was starting this chapter, I told you that it won't work. And that's because when I was testing this workflow, I got some completely un unpredictable errors. And uh, now that I'm doing this while I'm recording, I did not get those errors. The point is that when you use this workflow, you may get completely unpredictable errors. And also, it's very hard to know uh, what will work and what won't. Cool, that's it for this chapter. Let's finally move on and uh, start using uh, Rigify properly. The next chapter is going to be exciting. We're going to learn how to create custom building blocks without relying on the meta rigs. This chapter is coming soon or it may already be uploaded. If you have any questions regarding Rigify, just put them down in the comments. The easiest way to keep up to date with this course is to go to the hub page, cgdive.com slash Rigify. And if you enjoyed this channel, please click like and subscribe.